start. I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Yahweh Kachodash, Yahweh, which is the one and only true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai. I would like to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, because those are the men who I've learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the hopeful elect, and shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And uh, pretty much, um, this lesson is going to be titled as Famine of the Word is Starting. All right, Famine of the Word is Starting. Now, it's been starting, you know, because the elders and apostles of Great Millstone start getting their channels terminated. You know, and uh, brothers like myself got got our channels terminated, but it's officially started. Now, when I first came into this truth, um, you know, and I was learning this truth, you know, um, from my big bro back in 2015, um, I had a link uh, called uh, www.therealhebrewisraelites.com. And I, I, I still do go, I still did go on there, but... I used to go on there time to time to get certain breakdowns that I couldn't find on YouTube. And that website that I just named was created by the brothers of GMS Chicago. Now, it's been like three weeks now, four weeks now. And when you go on that website, and I just want to show you guys something. When you go on that website, all right, you can't get in there no more. All right. You can't get in there no more. So let me show you, brothers, man. When you go there, this is all that happens. And any brother can try this, man. Boom. And it's been doing it's been doing this for at least a whole entire three weeks now. It's been almost a month. You can't get you can't get any of the breakdowns that you used to be able to get. You used to be able to get the um the Deuteronomy twenty eight breakdown. You used to be able to get all different types of breakdowns, you know, certain breakdowns of the basics. You can't even get it anymore. All right. The Hebrew name of the Lord, the Heavenly Father is only begotten son. You see how you can't even you can't even go on it, the website no more. All right. You can't get it. So pretty much. And this been doing it to everybody. I had every brother in our branch try it and it, it did this. So if you brothers want to try, you can try, but you're not going to be able to get to this website. This is going into famine of the word. All right. And we see it taking place on YouTube right now. But now when you're trying to search it up for this truth, you can't get it. So this is going into famine of the word. And this is why you you so-called Negroes, Hispanics and Native American Indians who are the true Hebrew Israelites, according to the Bible. You need to be getting this truth because this is famine of the word. You can't even go on to that website no more. That website been up for years. All right. For years. All right. Even when I first started, probably longer than that, I used to be able to get the certain breakdowns, you know, the, the basic breakdowns, you know. Yeah, you can go on YouTube and get them. But the main thing is that that website was pretty common for us to be able to go on and get, you know, take notes on. You can't go on there no more. All right. That's famine of the word. And if you reject that, just saying, oh, that's just nothing. It's just you have an Internet connection. And yeah, you just don't pay attention. That's what's wrong with you. You don't you're not paying attention. You can try it yourself and it'll do the same thing. You can try it yourself. This is Amos this is Amos eight. Because Jake, you know, I'm talking about these these new guys. You know, they these uh these new guys, man, in this troop, they just be thinking everything is okay still. And it's not. It's Amos eight and eleven. It says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will send famine in the land. See, the Lord is gonna put famine in the land, and the Lord is in control of all things. It says, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but the hearing of the words of the Lord. So, so famine of the word is taking place. All right. Famine of the word is taking place. You can't go on certain websites like you used to to be able to get the truth. You can't go on that website. You can't go on www.therealhebrewisraelites.com no more. I, 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 test any bro I, I ask any brother out there that's viewing this video, try to go on that website. I bet you're not going to be able to go on there. It's completely taken down. Verse 12, it says, And they shall wander from sea to sea. And this is the prophecy which is coming. They shall wander from sea to sea. See, country to country. And from the north even to the east, city to city. 
They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. And this is the time we're coming into famine of the word. You're not going to be able to seek the word. All right. You're not going to be able to get this truth. All right. This is why you want to be getting this truth, because this is going to cause a lot of civil arrest. And when the time comes, next step is going to be YouTube. And then it's going to be not the prophets not going out on the highways and byways no more. This is what is coming. This is what is coming into. That's why I said you individually as an Israelite, you need to be studying. I hope you brothers is out there studying. You new guys in this truth. I hope you guys are taking notes. I hope you guys are really studying and getting all the breakdowns that you possibly need. Get them. Because the time that we're coming into is not is going to be very, 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 very uh, devastating to a lot of you Jakes that have not been taking this truth seriously. Like the elders and apostles of Great Millstone has been saying for years. Proverbs 1 and 22, it says, how long ye simple ones? Who are the simple ones? These two thirds. All right. These simple ones. It says, will you love simplicity and the scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge? Who is this talking about? You Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Hispanics and Native American Indians. You're playing around instead of really taking the truth seriously and tuning in and studying and building yourself up, reproving yourself, man, to continue to grow. You're not doing that. Verse 23, turn you at my reproof, meaning correction. All right. It says, behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. See, if you take the reproof, the correction. All right. If you repent, the Lord will pour his spirit out to you and I will make known my words unto you. This is what the Lord did to each and every one of us, including myself. The Lord poured out his spirit unto us and we received this truth. The Lord made known his words unto us. Now we have the understanding. We have the wisdom, knowledge and understanding, which is the Holy Spirit. We were baptized of the word through his prophets. All right. And that's why you want to get this truth so you can get that full submersion of this word, man. Your spirit can be cleansed. Verse 24, because I have called and ye refuse. Two thirds of the mindset of our people, they don't want to repent. They don't want to come out of society. They don't want to seek the Lord. They don't want to do is what the Lord commands them to do. They want to do what they want to do. They want to be bugged out, prideful, emotional. You know, they want to do all these bugged out things. It says, I have stretched out my hand and no man regard it. See? Lord has stretched out his hand, no man will it. You Jakes want to refuse to hear the truth. You don't want to hear the truth. You some of you Jakes, you know, you come by the camp, you say shalom and all that, and then you listen, and then as soon as Jake, as soon as soon as the prophet or the Lord start going into heathens not being saved and 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 these seventeen heathen nations being our uh, enemies, starting from Esau, that's when you want to walk away. But hey, you you causing yourself to be destroyed. Verse twenty five. But ye have set a knot at all my counsel and with none of my reproof. You didn't want correction. When the Lord spoke to his prophets and he was telling you to repent and warning and telling you the things to come, you didn't want to take heed to it. You wanted to do your own thing. You wanted to walk away and shoot your hand off. I don't want to hear that, man. The white man, the Bible is a white man book. Y'all reading a white man book. Y'all in a cult. Y'all this, y'all that. Being a scoffer and not paying attention to the things that's going on. All right. Verse 25. But ye have set at naught all my counsel and ye would. And it says and would none of my reproof. You didn't want correction of the Lord. You was prideful. You fanned this truth off. You went on walking on to your to your, you know, your, uh, you know, your own life, your life, you know, just whatever. I don't want to hear that. I got somewhere I got to be, which is nowhere profitable for you. You going around the corner to go smoke some weed and hang out with some girls or do some stupid bugged out shit. When you could be getting the truth, you know, but hey, that's the spirit the Lord put you in because he ain't dealing with you. Verse 26, I also will laugh at your calamity. Right. So when the time comes, because the time is going to come where all hell is going to break loose and it's going to bug a lot of people out. The famine of the word, famine of the water, the food, the power outages, the EMP attack, global economic collapse. You know, all these things are going to take place. You know, the the MLTB, which would be the New World Order. All these things are going to take place. And it's going to terrify two-thirds of you Jakes. And you're going to try to get the truth. You're going to just, this is how I went to that website. You're going to try to go to that website. And you ain't going to be able to get it. And that's in the perfect example right there. You can't even go on that website. That website been shut down for almost a month now. It's been almost a month. Because I tried going on in May. I think it was the middle of May. 
because I was trying to go out to get one more breakdown. I was breaking down through the spirit. Um, I was going over Deuteronomy 28 breakdown. I also watched a video because I always go to that website, take notes, and I also go to the other video to take notes to revive to revive myself, you know, to properly break down Deuteronomy 28. So I go back on there, and it's, you can't get it. The, that website been doing. I was like, maybe you know they're fixing it or something. Nope, that site is gone. You cannot go on there. So this is this is that calamity, man. That that, that horrifying event, man. Disaster. Global economic collapse. Not being able to get the truth. Not being able to do nothing. No cell phone, circular devices. You're gonna be able to use none of that. I also will laugh at your calamity, and I will mock when your fear coming. And that's what the Lord's gonna do. He's gonna mock, and we're gonna mock. We're gonna laugh at you. You mock the prophets, so the prophets is gonna laugh at you. So like you, the prophets gonna laugh at you. You know, verse twenty-seven. When your fear cometh as desolation, and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish shall come upon you, and this is what's gonna this is what's gonna happen to you two thirds. A lot of you gonna be in that type of spirit, distress and anguish. You guys thought the pandemic was bad. This ain't nothing. You know, this stuff is gonna bug a lot of you, Jake's out, man. Verse 28, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. This is going, going into Amos 8 and 11. People, people, Jakes are going to be going from city to city, from country to country to get the truth, and they're not going to be able to get it. The prophets ain't going to be out on the highways and byways no more. That's going to be the next thing. All right. So there's a lot of things taking place. People is not paying attention to it, but it's a lot of things that's taking place. And I can hit reload, too. And this is what happens. Look at that. No more activation to this website. So that's telling you something. So, hey, man, you better get this truth while you still can. Because feminine of the word is taking place. And you want to be taking notes out of a notebook. Don't use your phones. Use your notebook. Get a pen and a notebook the old school way. Because when they shut down all these 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 cellular devices, you're not going to be able to all that shit you have stored in this phone. You ain't going to be able to get it. So why would you have it written, have it all typed up in this phone when you should have it written down on paper so you won't lose it? It's going to go back to the Stone Ages, man. So, hey, Lord wants lessons that are fine. I'm going to give all praise to Yahweh by Shemim Hashem, by Shemim Kakwadash, and double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, salutations to the hopeful elect. And shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth, sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh, Why Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada. And uh, Lord will is that some edifying. So, hey, man, family of the word is here. All right. So, to next time I say, Shalom. Uh.